when I engage it, watch what happens. You see that pin? Here we have an MSI 4090 Supreme X graphics card that came in for repair. We already disassembled the board right here. And let me show you what's going on with the connector. We went over this many times, how 4090 connectors are melting. And this one looks like, I don't know, does this look like melting to you or pin damage? Probably pin damage. Maybe some melting going on inside, down on the bottom, that second pin on the bottom. Either way, we're going to have to replace the connector. That's why the video card was mailed over here, so we can replace the connector. And I mentioned this before, that we do a lot of 4090s every day, every single day. What is the problem? Melted connectors. This one here is not so much of a melted connector. It looks like pin damage, but it falls under the same category. We're going to have to replace the connector. Big Boss just bought a vehicle and he wanted me to see it. It's the Nissan Rock. Oh, I love it. Very nice. I love the color. Look at that. Wow. Big Boss, very nice. <laughs> the boss of all bosses. Very nice car. I love it. And the person who bought this car for Big Boss is his son. <laughs> He's a car broker, Maliki Motors. If you need a car, Nissan, BMW, Benz, whichever car, you can call him. He'll call dealerships and get you the best possible price. You do not have to do any paperwork. He does everything for you. And he delivers the car to you at no charge. Really, now? It used to be that you have to go to a dealership talk to a salesman, negotiate, and spend the whole day buying a car, but now it's different. Now you just send them an email or give them a call or send them a text message and tell them I'm interested in buying this vehicle, 2024 Nissan ROG or whichever car, and he'll get you the price hassle-free. Nice, I love it. All right, back to work. Fume extractor on. Right, and that should be enough. Now we're gonna use low melt solder and mix it with unleaded. That lowers the melting temperature of solder and it makes it a lot easier to remove the connector. We're going to apply a lot of flux because flux is your friend. And we're going to start from the bottom here. Just like that. Let low melt soak with unleaded. And now we're going to go here. See how that pen is moving? Let me turn on our anti-glare light because reflections are unbearable, right? That's what the anti-glare light is for. We have those lights back in stock. We were out of stock for two or three weeks. Those anti-glare lights are heavy. They're very heavy. So they ship by fast boating, not by air. If we are to import those lights, 
via air, then it's going to cost twice as much. If you are in the same type of business or you do this as a hobby, you can purchase all your tools from us. Just log into northwishfix.com. Pick the tools that you want, add to cart, check out, pay. And we almost always ship out same day. I keep mentioning this in every video for all new viewers, all new subscribers to the channel. And we have new customers buying tools from us every single day. So it's a win-win for both. I share the knowledge, create the videos, spend the time making those videos. And in return, we benefit. We benefit from monetization. Our e-commerce skyrocketed since we started carrying and selling tools. We customize our tools, brand our tools, and we quality check everything that we sell in the shop here. Everything. I posted a video yesterday how the fume extractors are quality checked at the factory, and we do the same thing here before we ship to the customer. So you buy the tools with the peace of mind that that tool is going to work and it's going to be perfect because we do not sell anything that we do not believe in. And it doesn't make sense to ruin our reputation for the sake of selling. So we only carry and sell what we believe in and what we use in the shop here for the most part. All right, so we applied Lomel solder. Now I'm going to extend the cart beyond my bench so we can apply hot air and then pull down on the connector. I have my family in the background. All of them are in the shop right now. My brother just came to visit with his kids. My mother, they're all sitting on the couch having coffee and they're making noise. I do not know if you can hear the noise, but it's a good noise. It's a family noise. And family comes first. You know how some people are annoyed when their kids are playing and they make noise? They're going to miss that. When their kids grow and leave, they're going to wish their kids were young again and playing and making noise. People do not know what they have until they lose it. That cord is wobbling. And the connector is out. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, while that board is hot, we're going to use our NF dot sucker, our solder sucker, which you can also purchase from our site if you have not already done so. The solder sucker right now is a top seller in our shop. You cannot see what I'm doing because I cannot fit the sucker under the microscope. What I'm doing is I'm heating. I engage the sucker. Click, engage, click. What happens to the solder that sucked into the sucker? Does it stay inside? And the answer is no. If you look here, when you engage the sucker by pressing down, it's engaged now. The camera is focusing on my eyes. I have to cover my eyes so it focuses on the sucker. When I engage it, watch what happens. You see that pin? It pushes solder out. So every time it sucks solder, I engage it and it pushes solder out. I have the solder on my bench here, the ones that it pushed out. And we only have one or two holes left. And I think we're done. And look at this. 
Look at this. The holes are all clean. Very nice. And now all we have to do is insert a new connector. Grab it from here. We're going to push the connector from the bottom. Like this. And we have to make sure the connector is all the way in. Not halfway in, but all the way in. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on. I want to make sure the pins are all the way in. And very nice. We're going to apply flux. And just apply some solder here, just for the time being, so we can hold that connector in place. And that way I can let go of that connector, because currently I'm holding that connector from the bottom until we have a good connection. And I do not have enough solder on the tip. Okay, now we can let go of the connector. And we can proceed to solder the pins one by one. And let's use our anti glare light. Let me just finish with this one. Anti glare light, beautiful. The family is waiting for me to go sit with them. I told them, let me just finish this court. And I'll be right there. We have an espresso machine in the shop here, so they make espresso. Sit down and talk. We're going to have to rotate the board. Flux because Flux is your friend. We're going to go over them one more time. It's time to clean up. And tell me those solder joints are not the best you have seen in your life. Look at the mirror-like joints that you can use as a mirror to fix your hair. Your wife can do her makeup on those joints or you can use them as a security camera. Security mirror, not security camera, where you can see 180 degrees or 360 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful. That looks awesome, amazing. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of solder mask on the areas that are a bit scraped. There's no way around it. And tell me this is not better than factory. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.